Simon. Harold, what are you doing? You want to tell me what happened? I didn't do it. Well, I believe you. It doesn't matter. I'd be here anyway. And what went on with you and Vasquez? When I was 16, my parents died, and Vasquez took me in. I'd been doing dual enrollment at MIT since I was 14, and I eventually became his understudy. And that where the advice came from. He trusted me. He gave the key to his life. This was his. I had a copy, but I threw it away when I got busted. Busted for what? Um, when I found out that I could control electronic signals with the device, I... Used it to block out the security system, the cameras, and the alarms at the chemistry department, where they kept a large supply of sodium hydroxide. For methamphetamine? Yeah. I had this brilliant idea to sell it to a student that I knew was cooking it. I'm stupid. I got busted. And I got scared. When the cops questioned me, I lied and blamed it on Vasquez. And then he got fired and deported. And I ruined his life. How'd you get Vasquez's original key? When I got out of jail, I, there was a, a letter. He asked me to come help him, and inside was the key. And that's how I ended up here. I just wanted him to know that I was sorry. Harold, it's time. Well. Oh. I have to go, but uh, I just wanted you to know that I was here for you. I don't care what you've done. And uh, since it looks like you might have a little free time on your hands. You really want me to read that book, don't you? And, uh, and this is the book it's based on. Yes, it is our choices in life that has brought us to where we are now. But through Jesus Christ and the invitation that he makes towards us, he gives us the opportunity to change the direction of our lives. He gives us the opportunity to choose a better life. In fact, Jesus said that if you choose me, you choose life. I love this. I love this conversation that Jesus has when he presents to mankind the, the privileges and the benefits of choosing him. Jesus said that if we choose him, we would have life and life more abundantly. Now, if we choose Jesus and we choose life, it, the implication is that the end of Jesus is the end of us as well. And the end of Jesus will never be experienced because he says that in him is life and life more abundantly. There is no end to who God is. And when we surrender our lives to Jesus Christ and allow him to take over our lives, then his end becomes our end. That is why the Bible says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Everlasting life is in Jesus Christ. And when we choose Jesus, we indeed choose life and life everlasting.